Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Okay, so now that we successfully combined these images, both the road, the mountains, and the sky for our freezer burn poster, we're going to add a city in the background. We're going to use this city, the skyline of uh, Lower Manhattan from Staten Island, to incorporate into it. So over the next few videos, we're going to isolate the buildings in this image, we're going to move it over to the poster, and we're going to change the colors, as well as change elements in the building itself to make it look dilapidated, isolated, destroyed, etc. So one thing I want to show you before we get started is that this image is big, very, very big. If I go to actual pixels, it's huge. You get immense amount of detail. And that's a good thing because the more detailed images you have in your final poster, the better. So I'm going to press fit on screen and we're going to get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to use the crop tool and I want to get rid of all the extraneous area that I know I'm not going to use. Generally, I'm not going to use anything outside these main buildings. So that's where we'll start. So grab the crop tool start over the area and pretty much end right there let's get rid of the water because there's no water line in this and then let's move this over so there's no extra space and that'll do now we press enter and there you go our image is cropped let's get fit screen so it'll fit entirely and now what we're going to do is we're going to use different tools to isolate the different images and then create a vector mask. A vector mask is basically an area of your image that you are choosing to isolate. And you can take that image and we're going to add it to our poster. But the big difference is, is that if I want to make changes to the image itself in my poster, I can. And they aren't permanent. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shape tool. And all I'm going to do is cover up these different buildings with the shapes. Okay, and that pretty much does it. Now one thing I want to do if I'm going to create a mask is make my background image a layer. So I'm going to right click and click layer from background and we'll call it cityscape. Press OK. Now that I've done that, I want to create a vector mask. Vector masks are better than pixel masks in this particular image because of all the straight corners and angles. It's going to be a lot easier to manipulate the mask using things like the pen tool and the vector mask is better for that. So I'm going to go down to this little button here that says add layer mask and I'm hold down the command or control key and click and I get a vector mask. And it, obviously it doesn't cover everything but the beauty of a vector mask is I can add to it. So with the shape tool selected, go over this area, bam, there we go. So now that I've got all the areas selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the shape tools and the pen tools to subtract from the areas that I obviously don't want to see skyline in. And we're going to cover that in the next video.